Hello and welcome to a new host for our video. My name's Alex and today we're going to look at how to adopt a router or gateway to the Amada controller from TP-Link. So Hostify recently launched TP-Link Amada hosting uh, back in February 2023. Just like Ubiquiti, TP-Link has a wide range of devices for Amada from routers and gateways, wireless access points to PoE switches. However, we're going to look at how to adopt a router or gateway to the Amada controller. So we've already got a guide on this support center of how to adopt the Amada ER605 router, but any other Amada gateway will be the same process. So all you do is log into the GUI, put your hostname in, set username and password, and then get the inform URL from your Amada controller. So we're going to do that today. We've got a Amada controller hosted at Hostify with no devices on it. We've also got the guide open, link for this is down below, and then we've got the ER605. So what I've done, I've plugged into the LAN port of the ER605, as I picked on screen just to which one that is. Uh, the default subnet is 192.168.0.1. Um, slash 24 and then first thing it tells you to do is set a username and password so we're going to set admin and password is going to be password don't use this in production this is just for testing purposes so we can confirm and then we'll have to log log back in with those brand new details we've just set so we're going to press let's get started so it wants you to configure the WAN port first so I'm plugged into this port here, WAN1 slash LAN1, my PC is plugged into that. Uh, so it's going to say, what do you want to happen on WAN, on the first WAN connection? So I've got something plugged in already, uh, it's a dynamic IP, uh, it's DHCP, um, but you can also set a VPN for the for the WAN connection, uh, triple PoE, so if you've got, uh, if you're on BT or any other service that uses triple PoE, and you can set static IP. So we're going to leave it on dynamic IP address for now, press next. It's going to just verify there's an internet connection. So it has now found that the internet is connected. I'm going to press done. So there's little stats about the information. So I've got it plugged into my main uh, Ubiquiti network. Uh, it's just got the IP information from just a, a double natted scenario. So the next we're going to do is log into our Amada controller and just copy the host name that's in the top left hand corner. And then go back to our TP-Link router. And then you want to go to system tools, controller settings. We're going to enable the cloud-based controller management and press accept and press save. And we're going to put our address in for the Amada controller, press save. So next, if we go back to the Amada controller and click on devices, the router should pop up as pending. Let's give it a refresh. It's already popped up as pending. Uh, what we can do is click on the action button, the dot tick here. It's adopting the router now. So it says fail to adopt the device because the username, username and password is incorrect. So what we need to do is click on retry and we can put in that password that we made when we logged into the router itself. So in my, my case that was admin and password. Press adopt. And what you'll notice now that the TP-Link router is now saying is this is now managed by the Amada controller. So it's not really designed to be managed by its own GUI anymore. So after about three or four minutes, the router is now adopted into a model controller, and then you can go from there. It's also worth bearing in mind that once the router is adopted into a model, it will now use the credentials set within the controller. So you go down to settings, and to site, if you scroll down, you've got these credentials down here. So that overrides the admin password that I put in earlier. So just to bear that in mind. Okay, hopefully that's been a helpful look at how to adopt a TP-Link Amada gateway into the Amada controller. If you want to learn more about Hostify, have a look at hostify.com. You can contact our team for any help and queries at support at hostify.com. And you can follow us on Twitter at hostify underscore net. Thank you for watching this video. My name's Alex, and we'll see you again next time.